Here's problem 10, 9. A wheel rotating about a fixed axis with a constant angular acceleration of 2 radians per second squared turns through 2.4 revolutions during a 2 second time interval. What is the angular velocity at the end of this time interval? Alright, so let's uh, write down what we know. We have an angular acceleration of 2 radians per second squared. We're going to turn through 2.4 revolutions, so that has to be an angle of 2.4 revolutions. Let's immediately convert that to radians. We have 2 pi radians per revolution. Revolutions canceling out. So that's going to be 4.8 pi radians. And what is that? 15.08 15.08 radians. All right, so that's our angle that we went, we subtend through. And we're going to do all this in two seconds. And we want to know what is the final angular velocity. So there's our four rotational kinematic variables involved in this problem. And looking for the equation that has those four, it's actually our last rotational kinematic equation. In other words, angular displacement is equal to final angular velocity times time minus one-half angular acceleration times time squared. Let's use this to solve for that final angular velocity. Add a one-half alpha t squared to both sides and divide by t. So omega is going to equal delta theta plus one-half alpha t squared divided by t. If we put in our numbers, we have 15.08 plus one-half times two times two squared over two. The one-half two cancels out, so we're going to have 15.08 plus four, which is 19.08 divided by two. So this is equal to 9.54 radians per second. So at the end of, end of this time interval, we will have an angular speed of 9.54 radians per second. That's our answer.